the combination system in protostructure is actually quite flexible. So in this version, what we did, we redesigned the combination interface so that it is now much more user-friendly. Uh, you Instead of the old uh, large matrix style combinations, you will now be seeing the combinations in a color-coded manner. Uh, you can understand the load cases and the combination signs and combination factors very clearly from the new interface. And also we developed, uh, we brought you the four different combination groups, ultimate limit states for concrete, ultimate limit state for steel members, serviceability limit state combinations for reinforced concrete and serviceability limit state combinations for steel members. So we have now four different groups. In the previous version, all the SLS combinations uh, were considered under the hood by protostructure while you are doing the design. So you, you weren't able to customize the SLS combinations in the previous versions, but now you can. So uh, I'll show you how you can do it. And also we have a better loading generator. In the previous version, as you know, sorry, as you know, in the loading generator, you can set options like I want I don't want the pattern loads I want the stage cases I want thermal loads maybe I can use a seismic loading etc notional loading so in this loading editor you it's it's just like a wizard and you can set the options and by looking at those options protostructure will create a combination set automatically for you but of course looking at the design code uh, and previously, these options were not remembered. When you exit the uh, loading generator, all the options were forgotten and you had to select uh, from the beginning again. You don't have to do it here. All the options will be remembered in this version. Anyway, uh, so I also talked about the SLS and ULS. So uh, the steel members will only use these four combinations, and RC members will only use these three combinations, and the serviceability checks will be done for these combinations only. We will we will improve this further more. So what I want to uh, do here is uh, I want to add additional load cases. This is actually again one of the new features, one of the uh, strong features in protostructure, you can define as many user-defined vertical loads or lateral loads as possible. So I have user-defined vertical loads. I want this vertical load to be considered in the story mass calculations. Okay. And I will add another one with uh, Q1. And this is a vertical load again, user-defined, and it's a live load case. Okay, that's done. And what I want to do, I want to create uh, two more serviceability combinations for steel. So let's say G1 plus 0 0.5 Q1. Okay, and double click. Now let's get rid of this um, coefficient and 1 and 0 0.5 here. Okay, now you have one combination. And another one maybe is the only. Q1, uh, sorry. Okay, let's zero this out and put one here. So this combination, SLS combination, is only comprised of the new Q1 loads. Let's say okay. 